Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The Norsken Cavalry is out in full strength today as they face off against the Lizardmen. We have myself leading the Norsken forces, and Malverde will be leading the Lizardmen. So for the Norsken army, we have a bunch of skirmishing cavalry right here. So we have two units of horse masters, we have one horseman, and then we have two throwing axes in the rear end. So these two throwing axes, they do do good armor piercing, and they can do some good work against the dinos of the lizardmen, as long as they are able to get some steady fire over time. They do have kind of short range. Uh, but they can do very well over the course of a match. They will be backed up by a pair of Norskin Warhounds as well as a Norskin Ice Wolf for the mobility, so very uh, mobile force for the Norskins, and then there's going to be a lot of infantry as well, as we have uh, just some Marauders in the front line with a pair of great weapons and some Spearmen as well in the rear. We will be leading the way with Throg, as he is going to be bringing his Winter Tooth Crown, and he will have some... Uh, Magic support by a Shaman Sorcerer of Metal, bringing Plague of Rust and Final Transmutation. And on top of that, we do have the Norskin Giant as the heavy hitter for the Norskins. Not a pick you will often see, but he is a very decent unit nonetheless. And as long as he is going to be in some support, he can do quite a bit of damage. And as long as he does stay away from the halberds that the... Uh, temple guard to have now for the lizardman forces we do have a skink priest of heavens and that is going to be bringing uh wind blast so that'll actually do quite well against the norskin army seeing as there aren't any marauder champions and curse of the midnight wind an aoe minus 30 armor and 24 melee attack a very good debuff as well we also have krokgar is going to be leading the forces he does have his hand of the god and he is also going to be bringing Swiftness to Vitzel. And of course he has the Cold-Blooded as all the leadership of the Lizard event do have. For the rest of the forces, we do actually have quite a bit of skirmishing force as well with Skink Skirmishers. We do have four units of those. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit of back and forth between the Horsemen of the Norskins. Um, but otherwise, they do do poison. So that is very good for helping with that engagement. So they can pretty much poison almost the entirety of the front line of the Norskins and then we do have Temple Guard as the solid front line and that is going to be quite a tough nut to crack and we'll see if the Norskins are up for the task as they also have a couple of sacred Croxagores as well who do magic damage and armor piercing so that can do quite a bit of good work themselves and we'll see if Norskins can really um, break through that and on top of that we do have some additional ranged in the form of a Bastilladon with a solar engine so that still out of a solar engine actually there are two of those and are they are very good units against Norskin they're just very good units in general especially considering there's a lot of regen that the Norskins can have especially against like Throg it does so much good uh, damage against them but those are our armies so let's get the show on the way road as the armies kind of advance and the Norskins with their uh, mobility advantage really they're going to be trying and pick apart this lizardman army as best they can and getting some shots in as they do approach while the rest of the norskins kind of slow their approach down uh, uh, knowing that there are these solar bastilladon so they don't want to be taking too much damage from that but the bastilladon is firing in getting some nice shots in taking out five units of the broader horse masters in just one shot and the other horsemen are taking shot from the other one but otherwise their shots are starting to rain in against these skin skirmishers not really doing a whole lot of damage so far but the, uh, they do have quite a few shots to be um, dealt out as the throwing axe is now getting probably a little too close as two of the skirmishers are able to fire in it is trying to get some damage done onto the bastilladon but they are going to have to pull back there's just these skink skirmishers there's just so many units there's 90 per uh, unit so that just is a lot of fire that can be um, thrown the way of the horsemen and the horsemen they really don't last too long in a counter skirmish uh, the horse masters do a little bit better but the horsemen themselves can take quite a bit of damage now the warhounds getting some nice charges in onto the skink skirmishers as the horse masters do kind of follow up with a secondary charge the temple guard are right here and they do pull back as soon as they get too close and not wanting to tangle with those temple guard at all and so far these uh, skinks have been dishing out quite a bit of damage to the horsemen as well as the bastilladons um, but so far the 
mobility is still in the advantage of the Norskins as they are starting to approach now through these two rocks onto the far side. But a nice pickup here by the Norskins with their Warhounds getting on top of the Skink Skirmishers, doing a nice bit of damage as they do cycle in and out of the engagement, doing some good damage. Another unit has been isolated as the Skink Skirmishers are taking quite a bit of damage from these Norskin Ice Wolves and a charge from the Horse Masters themselves. And otherwise, these Skink Skirmishers are being protected by these Sacred Crocs, of course, screening out these Warhounds before they can get another charge. But this unit of Skinks is wavering right now. Uh, the the Cold-Blooded is going down, providing a little bit of extra leadership, so a nice little cast by that, keeping them in the fight as they are able to pull back behind their Temple Guard front lines. Otherwise, the shots are just starting to rain in from all sides now as the Norskins have kind of gotten some of their units into the rear formations, peppering them in the back, pulling the attention of the Lizardmen onto both sides as the rest of the uh, Norskin army does approach the uh, front lines of the Lizardmen as they're hard a bit of Norskin Marauders here to deal with the troops as they are going to start to engage as the Marauders charge in to the Temple Guard and the Temple Guard will be able to withstand that no problem at all but in come the Marauders with great weapons on top of that who will um, do a little bit better job at breaking through these Temple Guard units but the Bastilladons firing in on Throg very good target for them to be shooting at we have a final transmutation is going to be going down on these units it's going to catch Temple Guard it's an overcasted spell the Sacred Crocs and the Bastilla with solar engine, so some very, very high value targets being caught out by that um, overcasted final chance mutation. But a nice wind blast here. It does hit some of the Temple Guard, but the Temple Guard can withstand that a lot better than the Norskin Marauders can, as the um, Marauders with great weapons do finally come in. But if we take a look into the rear, just as the Skink Skirmishers get collapsed upon by all of the Warhounds as well as the Horse Masters as they got a little bit too far away from their front line getting pulled away from, by these Horsemen and now they're just routing all of them. So three units, four units, all of the Skink Skirmishers have routed in the back line and that is going to be a really big problem for the Blissermen as that is their poison source as well as the Sacred Croxigors uh, have routed with the assistance of this Norskin Giant into the melee fight. A Curse of the Midnight Wind does go down on this blob fight right here allowing these Temple Guard to do a little bit better, but even this Bastilda on the Solar Engine is taking quite a bit of damage itself as that Norskin Giant is just wailing away at it with its club, doing a ton of damage, and it is still in the fight though, firing some more shots into Throg, who has taken a ton of damage themselves. Now these Skink Skirmishers do not look like they are doing so good, even the Sacred Crack scores are being ex ex <laughs> escorted off the map by these Norskin Warhounds, so things are going very well for the Lizardmen off, or for Norska off the gate, as even the Bastilda now is routing, and this Temple Guard is just surrounded by three units of Norskins, and uh, it does go another Plague of Rust. It does seem to be going down on top of the Temple Guard to allow these Norskin forces to really whittle them down quickly. But this is going to be the Blob Fight right here that is going to have to hold out against the Norskin Horde as there's two Temple Guard as the Sacred Croxigors are firing in. But that Bastilladon with Solar Engine still firing into Throg, doing a ton of damage. And otherwise, everything is not going so well. Krokgar does need to get into this fight. He needs to assist this front line as it is starting to waver as the overwhelming numbers of the Norskins are looking to deal a critical blow as finally these Temple Guard do finally break. But the shots raining from this Bastilladon are still firing in. And there's nothing that the Norskins can really effectively do to shut that down. They can try surrounding it, but these horsemen are not going to be able to do a whole lot of damage if NA2 that Bastilladon. They're just going to have to try and wear it down with these throwing axes as as the rest of the forces do finally kind of start to move in for the final surround onto these two Temple Guard. The uh, Skink um, Priest of Heavens trying to kind of I'm not really sure what he's doing here. He should be in the protection of these Temple Guard as now Throg does kind of wade forward trying to get some damage off, but he does uh, get out of the way in time as the Sacred Croc scores though are trying to chase him down. A nice hand of the god connecting with Throg, doing a ton of damage, and that will actually pretty much put the nail in the coffin as he does go down. So that may be the Lizardman's way back into the um, game here, but the balance of power is in the Norskin's favor right now as this Norskin giant is still at full health right now and yes the, there is a bunch of temple guard and they are very very good anti-large uh, but we'll see if that's going to be enough because there's just so many cav units left for the norskins and they all have some decent amount of ammo left and they are getting a nice round off now onto the bastillano solar engine as they get at him before he is able to get into these temple guard and the Bastilla trying to force his way into the protection of these anti-large units. 
Um, but we do have some units starting to route right now. A mass route by the Norskins, actually, as the Marauders with great weapons, all of these Marauder units are starting to route now. And But the thing with the Lizardmen is they don't really have anything left that can chase it. You do have Krotgar, who is the only thing that really has any bit of mobility left. The Skin Priest of Heavens is going down as he is getting surrounded by these Norskin Ice Wolves. But otherwise, things are maybe looking a little bit more decent for the Lizardmen. But all these units are going to be returning to the battle, and uh, the Bastildon does kind of get in with the uh, t t Sacred Croxagore unit. And uh, these two Temple Guard are starting to whittle down this Norskin Giant, who is now without the support of any infantry units. And that is not where that Norskin Giant wants to be. Uh, so we'll see if things are able to kind of pull things back for the Lizardmen. But that Norskin Giant now getting onto the target that he wants to is that Bastildon finishing him off. And he's just doing so much damage with each swing of that great club of his. And he is just doing so much damage as the Bastildon is wavering right now. And Krokgar is nowhere to be seen. He is off trying to chase off some units, trying to chase off that Shaman Sorcerer. But that is going to leave his core units without support. And they will all route. And that will be army losses as the Lizard men do flee from the battle. So take a look at the after battle report here. The Temple Guard doing a good job of holding that line for as long as possible. Uh, the Norskin forces really didn't have anything that could quickly deal with them. Normally I do like to bring uh, Marauder champions. Uh, that was kind of trying to mix things up a bit going a little wider and bringing a lot of cavalry as well into the mix uh that norskin giant actually did some very good work gaining a chevron doing a ton of damage to the two bas solar basilidons but the solar basilidons pretty much paid for themselves as they just took uh, out throg with all of their shots throughout the course of the match they did some good work too against all of the skirmishing forces of the norskins doing a lot of good damage there but uh I think a little bit of lack of mobility for the Lizardmen kind of played a key factor here. There wasn't any Pterodons or anything like that to really uh, provide some additional harass, and the Skink Skirmishers all got caught out at the same time, uh, far away from the support of their Temple Guard and other units. And once all that poison sources were gone, uh, that really left the Temple Guard and the, the Bastildons really kind of isolated a bit uh, they didn't have any additional support and the Norskins were able to just get a nice surround off onto one flank and then just collapse upon the remaining two temple guard to take the day but that is all I have for you all today ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good one